What's going on guys, it's Zaki here and I'm back with another video and today we will be looking at the 5-3-2. Now this formation is absolutely cracked. Anyone that uses it, you're, it's crazy. You're at such an advantage. You've got th three centre-backs there, your centre-mid drops in, your wing-backs come back. It's so, so defensive. But then going forward, it's ridiculous because your wing-backs are so high, they're so wide and then you just got everyone else running through it's at is it's crazy it is a crazy formation to play and if you can't have against the foot champs you know why but let's get straight into it and have a look at the custom tactics so as you can see here i play on balanced and balanced with this one in the 532 so the whip is sitting at five for defensive because we want to keep them nice and when they're on the attack, we want to keep the uh, the back line nice and compact. We don't want our three tent backs to go too far out wide because our wing backs are going to bomb back and cover that. So the depth is going to be four. Uh, the reason the depth is four is because obviously everyone that uses this formation is very defensive and you don't want to go anywhere. Um, so... That, that That is why you're very far back and you make it very, very difficult for anyone. So you you don't want your centre-halves to run on too far either because they're going to struggle to get back. Offence, obviously balance that we already spoke about. The width on offence, you want that as wide as possible. So I've gone with eight. The reason why you want that wide as possible is because you want your left and right wing back to uh, bomb up past those are the players. Your three centre mids aren't going to go that wide. And then those wing backs are just going to bomb past them, staying very, very wide. Players in the box, I've gone with seven because you've got as many players getting in there. So if you're coming down the right, let's say you've got your left wing back in there, you've got a centre mid in there, your two strikers, um, and a vice versa to the other side. Corners two, free kicks two. All right, so looking at the player instructions on the players. So off, ignore where the players are. Obviously, you change change this in game. Uh, so for the strikers, I have stay central, get them behind, stay forward, and then on the other one, I have stay central, stay forward. Midfielders, I just move to cover center. All three of them, apart from Kante, which I put on stay back while attacking. Wing backs, that's wrong. Are on join attack. Yep, there you go. So they are both on join attack because you want them to get high and wide and be joining the attack obviously when you go forward because the way it's going to look like you're literally going to have um probably about five players going forward normally one of your like one of your center mids will go up and then your two wing backs and then the other two center mids kind of like drop into um the center mid there and then you've got your two strikers up there as well it's very very it's very all-round very meta good formation at the moment it seems to be the one to beat i struggle up against it whenever i play it um but it's very very good there it's just because they these wing backs spread you so wide and it just gives the other player so many options they can have across it in cut it back there's just so many options for them and you're committing your back line and they've just got more players there than what you have there so guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have hit the like button it's greatly pre appreciated if you've not subscribed already hit the subscribe button and I shall catch you all in the next one.